On March 18, the Southern California News Group and Bay Area News Group published their first coronavirus daily tracker in all 15 of their California regional newspapers. Since then, the tracker has posted daily, providing readers with a comprehensive look at how the virus has spread throughout California's 58 counties, as well as in the United States and around the world. Data is collected daily from more than 70 websites make up this tracker featuring charts, graphs and heat maps. More than 500,000 pieces of information have been published in the span of 289 days, and it is constantly changing to meet the needs of its readers. Here's a look at how the pandemic and our daily tracker have evolved though 2020. The first tracker, on March 18, a large heat map of California counties highlighted total infections and total deaths by area. California had only 590 infections and 11 deaths on that day. The tracker listed the most infected counties down the right side. Santa Clara County was the only county with more than 100 infections. Los Angeles County was second with 94 infections. The lower right side featured tips on how to minimize spreading the infection. The fever chart along the bottom of the page kept track of China's infections in comparison with the rest of the world. At the time, China had roughly 85,000 infections and the rest of the world had just over 80,000. Heat maps were used to track total cases for the US and world. The first wave begins, by April, the tracker map was getting darker. California had increased from 590 cases on March 18 to 7, 676 cases and 162 deaths while Los Angeles County jumped from 94 infections to 3,011, nearly half the state's infections. It was the county with the highest rate of infections. County public health websites were providing us with more data and with most of the counties registering infections. The tracker featured a complete list of all the counties with cases, infections and cases for 100,000. The fever chart at the bottom of the page was eliminated and large blue numbers to highlight cases and deaths for California, you and the world were added. The wave in full force, on May 1, California had more than 50,000 cases and 2,000 deaths. Only Modoc, Lassen, Sierra and Trinity counties were without infections. Los Angeles County had more than 23,000 cases, up 3,011 from April 1st. The U surpassed 1 million cases with 61,000 deaths and globally there were more than 3 million cases with more than 200,000 deaths. The tracker now had more than 2,000 pieces of data. At the top was a chart that plotted daily 